Jared Polin. Fro knows photo. Dot com. Here we are with another rapid fire call where you get to call me on Skype and ask a question. You get two minutes, then we move on to the next person. You can say whatever you want, make any comment, uh, ask questions, whatever. And so that's about it. Let's let's go. Let's get right into these calls and hopefully people are answering. Ooh, look at this. There's a Darth Vader helmet on the Skype. Hello. Hello. Uh, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Uh, my name's Claude. I'm calling from Beacon, New York. Be all the way from Beacon, New York. What's up? I like the uh, little Darth Vader thing. Oh, I hate the Rangers hat, but... Oh, yeah. Hated rival. Yeah. So what, what can I help you with? Uh, my big question today is, in your opinion, what um, are the exact criteria that somebody needs to have in order to call themselves a pro? Anybody can be a pro these days. There, I mean, there's really no criteria, but this is what I would look for if I was picking a photographer. Uh, do they look the part? And by that, do you do you fit into what you're shooting? Like, are, are you going to show up to an event in shorts and a, and a ranger's hat and, um, and not, you know, fit into, say, a black tie event? You know, I mean, look at me. I got a fro and, and, and a beard and, you know, sometimes I have to tame it depending on what events I'm going to. But really, if you're a pro, if you're getting paid to do work, so if you're considering yourself a pro, then what I what I want to really say is you have the you have gear that that backs yourself up. You know, you might you want to use the best equipment that you can afford at the time if you're making money because you know to me if it's your profession you want to have the best tools that you can have. Does that does that help or was I going in circles? No, no, no I mean that makes sense. All it right. does seem like uh, there's a pretty broad definition, though. It makes it hard to kind of distinguish between who you're dealing with. Well, what are, what are you trying to do? Are you trying to be a pro, or are you trying to figure out if you are considered a pro? I mean, ideally, I think they say if, what, more than 50% of your income comes from photography or whatever field you're in, then you're a pro. Or if you're getting paid to do something, you're considered a, a pro because you're technically getting paid. Right. But... I look. I, I obviously follow the Fro site, and um, I think that you set a certain standard with all that you do. And I, I've, I've seen some of the other blogs and video posts and stuff that, of people uh, claiming to be pros, and it just it seems like they're uh, not quite up to kind of the level that you're setting. Well, thank you. Um, I well, I, I I try to shoot high for my own stuff. Um, I don't know what considered a pro. I look at work and I go. Is it good work or is it not good work? Does it jump out? Is it something that everybody's doing or is it gimmicky? And, you know, I, we all have different definitions of who's a pro and who's not. But honestly, you'll, you're going to find that there's photographers out there who you think do terrible work but are all over the place getting uh, a ton of jobs and making a lot of money. So it's it, our art is subjective. You just got to put yourself out there and don't hate on other people being successful even though you may think their work isn't that great it's i know it's hard to do because you know y you want those jobs right so does that that help at all that's great thank cool. you very much all right get it get a new hat <laughs> i'm working on it all, all right, right. you yeah, have a good okay. one you too man all right see ya bye bye all right Let's uh, dial in another one. Let's go with this. Uh, well, who we go to? All right, we already did him. Uh, let's go to this person right here. Oh wait, we already sh we already talked to Christopher. I think we already did talk to Christopher. Yeah. So let's go to this guy. He rings me all the time. Let's tell this person one minute. One minute. Yellow. Hello. <laughs> where where you uh, what's your name where are you calling from I'm Tom from the UK no wonder why I see that you call me all the time Tom what's going on just Skype you know talking to you I suppose <laughs> what uh, what questions do you have uh, it's about sports photography all right uh, I'm about to start doing some for my school and I wondered if you had any for like basketball rugby uh, football or soccer as you call what, about, it what about quidditch <laughs> uh, you know, they didn't want me to do that, you know, just in case I dropped my camera, you know, from like 200 feet in the air. Yeah, well, I, I'd like to shoot a Quidditch match. Uh, so you're That's looking for basic tips for indoor or outdoor or both? Both. All right, well, what are you shooting with? Uh, a Canon Rebel. 
All right. With uh, the kit lens, fifty-five to two fifty, and a Tamron seventy to three hundred. What's your wide lens? Uh, eighteen to fifty-five. Okay, so indoors you're going to want to try and stick with that eighteen to fifty-five as much as possible because you're going to lose a ton of light with the other two lenses that you mentioned. Yeah. Um, ideally, you're going to have to bump your ISO up pretty high, maybe sixteen hundred in your Rebel. Yeah, that's about right. All right. Um, at 18, you're going to be at 3.5, so you're going to let in a good amount of light, but you're going to have to be pretty close to your subjects that you're shooting. So yeah. you may see that that's going to be good for, say, taking pictures of people on the bench or you know during warm-ups when you can get closer. Uh, as you raise, as you go from 18 to 55, you're going to lose a little bit of light. So you're going to want yeah. to try to keep your shutter speed around 125th if possible for yeah, action. Okay. Because if you if you go much slower than that, you're going to start to get motion blur with the subjects. Yeah. But, you know, here's something that you could try. If you wanted to get a slower, you know, if you had a slower shutter speed and that's all you could do, if you're shooting from the side, depending on what sport you're shooting, you could pan yeah. with the subject. You know what panning is? Yeah, sort of spin Yeah, down if you thing. stay with the subject, even though you're moving, the subject is going to take on a cool effect. You know, you're going to... You're going to show some movement, but they're going to be sharp at some point in that photo that it that yeah. you're, you're experimenting. So you're trying to compensate for what you actually, you know, the, with the lenses that you have. Or if you can swing it, one of those 51.8s on Canon are yeah. pretty cheap because it sounds like you have two lenses that are about the same. 55 yeah. to 250 and a 70 to 300. Yeah. So maybe you could trade one of those in. Okay. If you can and... Yeah, Get I should of, be able to. Huh? I should be able to. And and look into one of those 51.8s because indoors you're going to be much happier with that lens. And it's going to help you with portraits and it's a good lens to grow with. That's going to give you three lenses, 18 to 55 and then that 51.8 and then one of the yeah. other ones and you're going to be uh you're going to be it's a good starting point. Yeah. All right. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Enjoy the Quidditch match. Hey, Hey, what, okay. what do you think of the royal wedding? I'm just happy we get a day off. You What? You get a day off for a royal wedding? <laughs> yeah, we do. <laughs> wow. Hey, it it, yeah. it should be it should be fun. Well, enjoy the royal wedding. All right, cheers. All right, see ya. See ya. All right, that was cool. I like royal weddings. All right, who's up next on the list? Let's go. We have Australia in the house. Let's see if we can get Australia in the house. I liked going into overtime. It was he needed it. He keeps calling, so I gave him some extra time. That's always good. Yellow. Hello. Hello. Yep. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Uh, Joe from Sydney. What's going on? What could I help you with? Uh, not much, man. Just want to say enjoy the uh, vids. That's all. Thank you. Yeah, that's that's about it. Enjoy the forum. Uh huh. And uh, yeah, you guys are doing a good job. Thanks. How's the how's the uh, surfing out there right now? Yeah, no, it's getting into winter now, so it's uh, starting to get a bit cold. Cold, and by cold, do you mean like what? What degrees is cold over there? Uh, we get about probably fifteen degrees during the day. Goes down to about zero degrees Celsius in the morning. So, so you're about thirty-two degrees Fahrenheit, and that's not that's not terrible. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. Yeah, it's it's bearable. Yeah, so. Yeah, it's, uh, I've never been there. I got to get over there at some point. Yeah, you got to come. It's a great place. So, what do you do over there? Do you shoot? Yeah, I shoot uh, just as a um, as a hobby. Work full time, but just photography is a uh, you know my my full time hobby, I suppose. So, shoot with a five D Mark II. Oh, cool. Yeah, landscape photography, and that's about it. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Well, do you have anything else? Any questions? No. no just wanna... no, that's all, man. Excellent. All right. Well, we got another uh, thirty seconds if you want to keep talking. Oh, okay. Um, uh, um, yeah, no. Nah, all right. Not really much else to say. <clears throat> all right. Well, hey, enjoy the better weather over there. All right. All right. Cool, man. All right. We'll see you. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Let's see. Who should I be calling next? We're going to take, I think, two more here. Let's see. That was pretty cool. I don't mind. It's cool if you just want to talk. We can always talk. Talking's fun. Connecting, connecting, connecting. Uh-oh. Not not much going on here. Hanging up. Going to call this guy. 
or girl. We can't confuse that. There's always multiple people. We're ringing. Hello. Hello. Um, Mr. Polish. Yeah, what's your name? Where are you calling from? I'm Nicholas, and I'm calling from Singapore. Singapore. What's going on? What can I help you with? Um, yeah, hi. I've been trying... Uh, I've been using a Panasonic LX5. It's a, basically a compact camera. Okay. And um, my friends are trying to convince me... Actually, no. I want to upgrade from a compact to a DSLR, basically. Sure. So, I have friends trying to um, tell me... Maybe you should try going for the micro faulted standard. Yeah. No, I'm not a big fan. I am personally not a big fan of a smaller sensor because you know what happens when you use smaller sensors. You can't shoot as high ISOs because the pixels are much smaller and the quality is just less in my mind. Well, usually for me, I don't print large size. I think the biggest I usually print is only A4. Okay. Is, so for me, ISO performance isn't exactly a really big issue. What do you shoot then? What, what type of work? Uh, usually I do street photography. So are you looking to do this as a profession or are you just looking to have more, just a fun hobby? Just a fun hobby. All right. Uh, I, I still would go with the lower end of a Nikon or a Canon, like a T2i or, I mean, they're still pretty small cameras. You know what I mean? Yeah, um, uh, but from what I've heard, um, have you heard of the Panasonic GH2? I've heard of them. I, they get pretty good good reviews. Um, because they, uh, from what I see from online reviews, they say that um, for at its current at its price point, it's quite um, in terms of performance, it's quite close to its APS-C uh, competitors. Sure. Yeah, and I the 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 one thing that I look at that that I see as a drawback is that you know it. They're charging you a premium for the smaller camera, so you're paying. You know, you have to get the. There aren't as many lenses yet for them. I mean, that's why I, I would say, you know, a D thirty one hundred, a T three I, a T two I, because they've come down tremendously in price, and you can throw like a fifty one eight on there and be pretty happy with the results. I just, I I personally like a bigger body, um, but if I had to choose between a say a T two I or a micro four thirds, I'd I'd go with the DSLR over the four-thirds personally because um say uh for the micro four-thirds standard i heard that there are actually adapters where you can even mount um laker lenses on it yeah now you're getting into even more expensive uh lenses yeah that's true i mean if, um in singapore our second-hand uh, market for laker lenses is quite big okay and it, and um it's reasonably priced right. i would say hey, wh for Leica lenses whatever whatever works for you whatever works for you thanks a lot jared all right good luck all right let me know what you end up going with okay, thanks a lot okay bye, -bye. Right, bye all right i hope that helped i i mean you know i'm pretty strong opinion i think i just i just deleted the uh oh well i deleted the person i was gonna call next so we'll call this person and then we'll call the day Do 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 do. They say I should be at the ball game. Yellow. Hello. Yellow, where are you calling from? What's your name? Hector. Hector, what's going on? What can I help you with? Uh, nah, just fine. Just watching the game. Yeah, what's the score? Uh, one zero. Houston is winning. The Twins. The Houston. The Astros. Oh, Astros, Astros. All right. Yeah. You have a you have a question, or you just wanted to talk for a couple minutes? Uh, well, you know, I, I have a, a Canon seven D, uh -huh. and I have uh, a fifty, the seventy four uh, to forty mil, and I have the seventy to two hundred, but the four the four L, right? Uh huh. And I'm just wondering if, if I need to upgrade to the two point eight, or it's just fine that I stay with the four. I mean the Canon the the F four L it, it's a nice lens it all it all depends on what you're shooting and where you're shooting I still feel that the color is going to be better on a two point eight the clarity is going to be better with the two point eight lens the F four is very good but when you're shooting wide open you're still not using you know e even if you shot the seventy to two hundred two point eight at F four I 
think you're going to get better quality, better sharpness, better clarity out of it because it's stopped down a little bit. You're using more of a sweeter spot of the lens. Okay. But it all it all depends on what you're shooting. Oh, okay. I I, I almost do uh, some sports, so I don't do low light situation situation. So for me, it's just fine. But I just wonder because it's it's a lot a lot of money to. It is. Well, I, yeah. listen. If you're if you're doing well with the F4, stick with it. There's no reason just to upgrade, just to upgrade. If you're if you're getting great results, by all means, stick with what you got and what's working. Yeah, I I just wonder because maybe some depth of field or something like that it would be better. But I love that lens. Good. It's, it's the old one. It's not the the the, the IS version. So yeah, for me it's being one. Uh, for me it's one of the best lens I use. Good. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. All right. You have a good one. Enjoy the game. Yeah. And by the way, I saw the picture when you said that you cut your afro. Yeah. The day you, you should do that, Greg should shave your head. Yep. <laughs> Definitely. You, you should put, put Greg on that. Yep. All right. Okay. You keep. Uh, thank you. All right. Enjoy it. Have a good one. Bye. All right. All right, so one more came in. Let's just take one more and see what we got. And let's see where this person's from. Probably Sweden. Tell me it's Sweden calling. Is it Sweden calling? Owen. Owen, no, but where are you from? Oh, New Lenox. Where? Illinois. New Lenox, Illinois. Oh, well, that's not Sweden. No, the name's Norwegian, Nor too. It's close, it's close enough, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, what can I help you with? Um, I had a few questions. Uh... I know it's going to get you uh, maybe a little bit debated about the RAW versus JPEG thing, but uh, did you ever shoot JPEG before you got into the whole RAW deal or no? From day one in 2004 when I started with my D2H, I could not get an answer from anybody on which was better, RAW or JPEG. And I decided for myself that I was going to shoot both. So I shot RAW and JPEG because at the time I thought... Well, one file is uncompressed, and it gives me more data, and the other has less data. I might as well stick with, well, both. And I ended up, over time, seeing that the uh, the raw file was just that much better when I needed to make corrections that I stuck with that only. All right. Um, because I, I started raw, t I mean, uh, JPEG 2, and now I'm slowly going over to the raw, thanks to you. Sure, so. but is it working out for you? Uh, slowly doing it because uh, I work for a school newspaper and I do some other freelance stuff. So for sometimes I have to do I have it on short notice, so sure. I'll do JPEG. But then I'm trying to do raw stuff when I'm out my own, doing just stuff for me. Yeah, I would try. To, I would try to do both. You know, so you, if for the paper. I mean, the papers all want JPEG. It's weird because they want instant and they want to get it online and yeah. and stuff. Yeah. But you know. If you get that ma most amazing shot and there's something you need to do with it, you're kind of uh, SOL. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, one more thing. I saw your uh, the video on the Adorama portfolio book. Okay. Are there any other like uh, good companies that you know that would do like a smaller book? Because I was looking at getting a smaller book together because I don't have that many shots as you do, but I still wanted to get a portfolio together. Well, how small? Um, well... Like uh, like you said, I skyped you the other day. You said about twenty to thirty, but I was looking maybe around maybe a fifty page book or something like that. Well, they have small. Adorama has smaller books. They yeah, they have oh. different sizes. You you can take a look. They have everything down from well in terms of page size. I think there's a. They may even have a twelve page. I don't know. I need to do a little more looking into the smaller books. But I know there's the 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 twenty five page book. Uh, that would be perfect to start out with. Mm -hmm. Okay, because um, I, I, I must have not seen that one when I went to their site. Yeah, definitely take a look because, you know, I searched around for a long time for a good book place and or a good way to present my portfolios. And that I tried, say, MPix. They did press prints for their their books, and a press print is a it's a four, it's like a it's like a big laser printer, and that's not quality. And in this yeah. case, this is an actual photo print. And until I find a, something else that's better. Or, you know, I mean, this is real. I really like the books. That's why I have about nine of them now. Um, yeah, I just, I like the quality. So you definitely can find a smaller book. So you could even start with, say, a four by six. You could start with, 
you know, an eight by eight. I do the nine, uh, 12 by nine because of the whole full frame aspect. Um, yeah. you know, that you want to do something that's bigger than the iPad. I think, you know, iPad's cool, but yeah. you know, when you throw a book on the table and they open up a two page spread and it's like, bam, right in their face. That's a, that's really good. All right. And do you know when uh, you're getting any more blue or red shirts in? I've retired the blue and red shirts. You retired them. All right. But by well, the time that this uh, video comes out, orange will be up. All right, cool. Do I'll you, have to get one of those. Do you like the orange? Yeah, it's one of my favorite colors. All right, so, yeah, the, I can say it to you because uh, they're not yeah. getting – well, they're getting announced tomorrow. But by the time – well, yeah, tomorrow when I recorded <laughs> this. But uh, by the time this goes up, it will be released. All right. All right. Thanks a lot. Yep, thanks. All right, see ya. See ya. All right, so that's cool. Um, I think we went a little overboard on this one with questions, but hey, I like good questions. It's cool when the people's videos go on and where you see people calling from from around the world. So as you heard, those orange shirts are out uh, when you're watching this. So enjoy. Pick up an orange shirt. There's even girl shirts in black and pink, and uh, there's that super secret T-shirt in white that either is out or isn't out, depending on when this goes up. So... Jared Poland with another Skype rapid fire call. Fro knows photo.com. See ya.